So we don't know how much uh, or, or what is inside of the van right now. But whatever it is that they saw, they definitely didn't like it. You know, this was originally a pretty serious charge, alleged kidnapping. Yes. Uh, but, you know, we, we never, but, but then, you know, wires kind of got crossed on that. We, we never heard anything about weapons, but whatever they saw, definitely uh, they didn't like it. And they have decided to take, uh, you know, kind of a, a defensive but simultaneously aggressive tact. And, you know, we were talking earlier that there was, this was possibly a domestic uh, situation, which is more than likely the case. And who knows what uh, this guy could be thinking right now, especially um, if he didn't necessarily do what he's, uh, you know, alleged to have, to have doing. Um, he's probably just uh, a ball of emotion himself. And okay. what we're going to do right now, Desmond, is toss to uh, the CBS Evening News with Nora O'Donnell. But we're going to be on KCAL 9 right now. Our coverage of this suspect standoff. Tonight, severe weather outbreak. That's a strong tornado. Lots of debris in the air. I've never seen so much hail. Hail and tornadoes slam the middle of the country as the threat of dangerous weather stretches into the weekend. Wow. Okay, that's not good. The CBS Evening News starts now. Good evening and thank you for being with us. I'm Margaret Brennan, in for Nora. We begin tonight with breaking news. Dozens of tornadoes touched down in at least three states, including Texas, Oklahoma, and Nebraska. Take a look at this massive funnel cloud tearing across an interstate north of Lincoln, Nebraska. Large pieces of debris can be spotted flying through the air as the twister spins just out of control. In addition to tornadoes and torrential downpours, parts of Texas, including Arlington, were hit with hailstorms, some as large as golf balls. And the threat is far from over. This dangerous system will stretch from Michigan to Texas with twisters, large hail, and damaging winds straight through the weekend. It is tornado season, and CBS's Omar Villafranca will start us off tonight from Ennis, Texas, which is currently under a severe weather alert. Dramatic moments along Interstate 80 near Lincoln, Nebraska this afternoon as a dangerous tornado crossed the highway, flipping a semi-truck. Storm chasers stopping to check on the driver narrowly missed being hit by debris as the twister tore through. He's okay, he's okay. Houses shredded in Douglas County, some taking a direct hit by the destructive tornado. A newly built neighborhood with a few homes still under construction, now gone. This is the dangerous storm that we are tracking right now here on the Weather Channel, a confirmed and large and destructive tornado. That is a tornado. Multiple tornadoes ripping through the state. That is a tornado in Lincoln, Nebraska. With reports of major damage, including a building collapse near Waverly and a train blown off the tracks. Wow. The violent tornadoes also tearing through central Texas, like this massive one near Waco. The same storm pelting Arlington with hail and heavy rain. Here in Texas, first responders will be on standby all weekend because of the severe weather. And this afternoon, just this part of the state had tornadoes, hail, high winds, and heavy rain in just a few hours. Margaret? Omar, thank you. Well, for a look at where these dangerous storms are headed next, let's bring in meteorologist Mike Bettis from our partners at the Weather Channel. Good evening, Mike. Well, Margaret, good evening. We are in the midst of a multi-day severe weather outbreak. Numerous tornadoes have touched down today across the plains. That threat will continue well into the night from the uh, Texarkana area all the way up towards, say, Peoria. These are all areas we could see violent tornadoes, large hail, high winds. The threat goes overnight tonight, returns again tomorrow. Large area where severe weather is going to break out for us, we believe, from, say, I-35 in Des Moines all the way down toward Wichita Falls and Dallas. Threat is Torcona 5, medium threat threat here for, we believe, for tornadoes on our 1 to 10 scale that sits right in the middle. Saturday, even into Sunday, more storms here right through the plains, eventually getting into the Midwest, and the storm not likely, Margaret, to die down until sometime late on Sunday into Monday. Thanks, Mike. Well, ex-tabloid publisher David Pecker took the stand again today to detail the alleged scheme he helped broker to suppress stories that could have hurt Donald Trump's 2016 campaign. The former president faces 34 felony counts of falsifying business documents related to a so-called hush money payment to a porn star. 